Hi, we're going through reviewing the Pikmin Garden and doing another one of these videos because the uh, last one pr did pretty good. So I'm going to keep doing it. See, we're here at the Pikmin Garden. Um, I put Google Translate on. You see the Olimar distress signal right here. You see uh, the books. Um, if you've been active on Twitter, then you know that all those creatures on there, you get some callbacks, like the like the bread bugs. Um, over here looks like um, future comics, like sneak peeks. Because um, if you're unaware of the uninitiated, um, Nintendo's re releasing, I think, daily or like weekly or bi weekly, I don't know, comics. Um, and uh, up. I'm pretty sure up to the release of Pikmin 4. Um, see, this website is called... Uh, the, like, this is called Pikmin Garden, if anyone's curious. Um, see Wally Wog right there. You see Ice Pikmin. Like, I really love the high quality of this. Um... You see baby, you see baby Snagrits, more ice Pikmin. Um, no, um, no Glowmen, which means they're probably only gonna be out like at night. Um, let's see, like schedule book. I think this is what. Yeah, here's here's the newest uh, comic. Um. I don't know what, what it's saying, but you see our characters, some call them Lisa, some call them Emma, some call them um, Palm. I think that, like, it's pr really obvious the names can be customizable as well. I'm going to call them Curiosity, because that's what I coined their name before we found out what their name was. So here we have Curiosity trying to pull up Red Pikmin, and then whoopsie daisy, there's, there's Empress Bull Blacks. Um, let's see here some neat information here, investigation about the investigation team an organization formed by the interstellar F federation Ooh, we got more lore F interstellar federation that might be very useful for future theories um which oversees the entire universe. Oh, <laughs> is this like an imperialist thing? Are they like, are they the bad guys? <laughs> Gathered experts in each field to investigate unknown planets. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, you see the coming soon. That might be for like when the game releases or after it. Um, due to a distress, distress like. The translation of this is going to be like a bit weird because a bit funky because it's Google and Google Translate isn't known to be the best. Um, but I'm going to read this anyways. Due to a distress accident for the first time in several centuries, an unknown planet was discovered to an abundant water source. This blessed blue planet has diverse ecosystems and said that the traces of civilization can be seen. And then like text isn't readable. The planet... Uh, important. The planet was hit directly by a meteor and suddenly flew suddenly flew by veteran astronaut Captain Olimar, the famous Hokotate. They spelled Hokotate different. Yeah, look. It's it's spelled different. It's usually spelled with a C and not a K. Um, Hokotate star. Okay, so yeah. Instead of referring to those... So like they're, they're making a clear distinction between planets and stars. Unless this is like a poor translation. But, like, the past Pikmin 4 website um, referred to, like, the Rescue Corps from being from, like, a Kaiga Star, I think that was what it was called. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to do much editing on this. <laughs> um, on vacation, it was discovered in the crash so that it could be suck sucked in. Also, not long after the accident, an unmanned probe released for food resources investigation by the Kobai Star found the same planet. Yeah, because, like, that must mean that the, like, 
Of course, Pikmin 2 occurs 30 days after Pikmin 1. But this also must mean that, like, um, that Pikmin 3 only happens, like, a few months. Maybe even a year after Pikmin 2. Maybe even sooner than that. Um, it's really interesting how they put, um, the, these two together. That must be also happening really quick. Is it a coincidence, or, oddly enough, um, something... I got, oddly enough, I got lost following Mr. Olimar, Ollie, to rescue Ma. The team I bought and the food, the research research team I've been looking for, Captain Charlie and the other, other three people also ready to land on the planet. It is said that an accident occurred on the verge of entering and that he was lost, and many unclear points about the casual relationship between this. Yeah, topic 2. 70% of Earth's surface is covered with Oh, I have no idea what they mean by the... Is it a, is it a coincidence? It, it must be referring to Pikmin 3. Um, where, like, Alamar and Louis crash again, and soon after, um, the Pikmin 3 gang crash as well. Must be referring to that. Um, seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered with water, and most of it is salt water due to the influence of the tilt of the Earth's axis to the orbit. They're calling it the Earth there. Maybe a mistranslation, or maybe like there are other planets they call Earths. Um, winds that circulate the atmosphere are generated in the warm climate is maintain maintained, and the seasons can be confirmed. In the mid latitude area, it is thought that a diverse something. I don't know what this says. And then we get some potential images for um, Pikmin like four. You see, like the very bottom. That's like obviously from the starter area of Pikmin three. But these, the top two, uh, I've played a lot of Pikmin three. I don't recognize the one in the middle. Those two must be new. Heart giant tree. Snow cover around the lands. The waving of civilizations. Many buildings and artificial objects have seen the legacy of uh, uh, seen the legacy of civilizations that existed past and burned on this planet. A huge structure in the wooden roof wiped on a metal pillar in that ancient times. The markets were opened under this roof and it was full, full of vitality, wasn't it? I find that really funny because this is just a chair. It's like, oh my god, there are market plates here. They're probably saying this because um, they're assuming that everyone was the exact same height of them, like the height of a quarter, and they don't expect there to be tall people. The Yakers. This, over, this overwhelming white greenness is thought to have played a role in the symbol of people's faith. There are many mysterious instruments that would have been used in festivals at the time. <laughs> this is really funny. It's like, oh, this is for the religions. And it's just like, oh, it's gardening. Inside of the bean radish building. <laughs> Traces of advanced civilization can be seen, such as a castle ruins in the building. This may have been the last refuge of the royal family on the planet that once flourished. No, that's just someone's house. Traces of civilization in, natural, in various natural environments. More than we can imagine. This place has many. I found that it was full. Blah, blah, blah. Next report, actually. Blah, blah. Stella market, blah, blah. So here, investigator... Ch Chilean? Clean? Keelan? Keelan. An investigator dispatched to investigate the new planet. My hobby is taking a nap. <laughs> this character might be very important. Um, you see, we have this picture of uh, the Pikmin. Oddly enough, I can't really tell if this is from the first two games or if this is we know the 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 rocks in the background. This is just from the trailer. Um and also we have this the picture book where we have table of contents, red Pikmin Pictima Pictima Rubrus. 
We finally have a family name for these guys. Everything's loading. <laughs> um, weirdly enough, they don't have like the other two, because we don't have any information about them. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, we have all of this, and we have the return of some Pikmin three enemies, as well as regular Pikmin enemies. Um, these. These guys, um, hold on, let this load. Uh, these guys. Oh, this is so cool. Someone once said that they must be like a younger version of the uh, crab guys. I forgot their name. I forgot their official name. But they must be like the younger versions because like there isn't purple at the top. I have to say, I really like this design a lot better than the one from Pikmin 3. I really like the cartoony designs a lot more than the realistic ones because, like, it's, like, the real realism on the, like, with cartoony characters is a nice mix to me. Um, I wonder if they're gonna have anything on those pufferfish-looking enemies. No, they don't have much. Um... But the cupboard does have bread bug, um, a cannon beetle, and a more original looking uh, flint beetle, as well as wispies, I think that's what they're called, and uh, the jellyfish. Yeah, I'm such a fake fan, I, I don't even remember their names. But this all, but this has the glow men uh, pictured. Which, their flowers are different. Yeah, here, here's the website. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Huh. These are two new characters. Do we know... Can we click on them? No? But, like, Louie has a new model. Um, translate. English. A new employee of Hokate Transportation who is silent and doesn't know what he what he is thinking. A person who embodies a troublemaker and is a super class glutton who acts according to his instincts. One related person, Baba on the countryside. Hobby is cooking and cooking to live freely. Captain Olimar. I'm from Hoshiki Hoshi. I can't- is that like- Is that saying he's like- what- what is Hoshiki Hoshi? What is that? Is it like a city? A veteran astronaut of Hokute Transportation while dreaming of becoming an adventurer. I'm carrying my luggage on holiday for my family. For some reason I often get into trouble. On like some related people, wife, son, daughter, Chappy. Chappy is the Japanese name for Bowlby. Um, and his only hobby is being an adventurer. Okay, so Hoshiki Hoshi must be like a city. Or like another word for Hokutate. Luchacho, aka the president. The president of Hokutate Transport, he has a lot of money and is a rough with people, but he has a personality that you can't hate. When I was young, I was a great adventurer who went back to space. Um, and it mentions the wife, the president of Hokage Transport, which means I I think he is the the co president or something. Um, the wife's a girl boss. We all know this. Girl boss and queen. His only hobby is making money, because he's capitalist. <laughs> I like making those jokes. Like, his only hobby is making money. Find more hobbies, dude. Young Engineer the Drake, star from Kopai Star. Young Engineer with an honest and positive personality. My grandfather was a designer of the Drake, and he grew up washing his back. Thirteen men of fifteen brothers. <laughs> <laughs> There's some mistranslations in this. Fifteen brothers, grandfather Drake. That's he doesn't just have brothers, he has older sisters. P 
pretty sure he has mostly sisters. Or, I don't know. I think, yeah, he pretty much has mostly sisters. So I don't know why he says brothers. Okay. I'm gonna edit that part out. Uh, his hobby is tinkering with machines and designing a spaceship. So you have uh, Brittany, the botanist. It's referring to Brittany with he, him pronouns as well. So, like, there is, um, like, mistranslations in this. She is a botanist who represents copai stars and uses her knowledge to compile fruit reports. She has a strong obsession with food and has a dark side. She killed someone. <laughs> uh, old lady, which must be her Aunt B. Oh, her other hobby is beauty. Captain Charlie. Captain the Drake, who was sent to save the f food crisis of Kobai Star, legendary ranger of the credit, who has saved many ducks in the past. Elizabeth, pet duck. Duck Chan. <laughs> Okay, so here's the um, um, short movies. Part of episode 7, Midnight. That must, yeah, Midnight Juice. Yeah, so if you don't know, Miyamoto made like up to 30 uh, little shorts and only chose three. I'm hoping he can release more shorts because these are enjoyable as hell. I love them. Um... Here is, um, oh yeah, merchandise. So I really want these hoodies and I will kill people. I would be willing to kill people to get them. You have no idea how much I want them. If I had every single type available, I would wear them every day. Um, I want, I want the Pikmin socks. I want the Pikmin hoodies. I want everything Pikmin. You do not realize how much I want this. I want this more than anyone else, anyone else in the world. I will be willing to attack people for it. Uh, so, um... Yeah, my phone keeps shutting off. Uh, I'm just gonna keep lazily putting this together. I need to, like, compile this more. Um, yeah, so here's, like, merch. Um, I remember reading somewhere that stated that the onions were their own separate beings. That was, like, what Nintendo wrote. I need to find it. But, um... This is just me going over this website. Um, if if you want, just like comment. If you want me to like dissect the trailer more, because I will. Um. Not only that, not only that. Um, I will. Um. Of course, this also has information about Pikmin Bloom. Um, but, like, if you want, comment on if you, um, want me to go, like, dissect the trailer more. Because I will. Go check out Pikmin Garden again. It's really fun. Um... See more merchandise. Pikmin history. Oh, this is really... Oh, yeah, these are, like, the past games. Yeah, this is basically their, the history of Pikmin. Um, you can see some new art here. Um, yeah, and it shows, like, which consoles each game was on. It's really interesting how this spells Pikmin. Pikinin. Pikinin. Sounds like Pikmin. Look how uh, how much they've grown. You know, they had they had they were the ugly babies, and then they had that puberty, and then they became like good looking, <laughs> I guess. 
um, graphics wise. Um, it, but this is almost the exact same pose as these. I just realized. The, the, wait, the only the only thing they changed about those two is the blue Pikmin's arms. I just realized that. Um, so anyways, just like comment. Um, what do you want me to do? Share this with everyone, like, subscribe, do whatever. Hell, like, if you want, block me. In fact, in fact, if you hated this video, dislike it, block me, unsubscribe, and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, see ya. Every single day, 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 day